what's up guys welcome back I know I may not seem like I'm the happiest right now but I just left the gym so and it's about 95 to 100 degrees out so I'm not in the best of moods right now <laughs> but I'm doing this for you guys so hope you hope you appreciate it so today I will be reviewing the Arctic hats so hopefully this will put me in a better mood and cool me off because that's exactly what it's supposed to do um, so no these aren't little sparkly glitter things <laughs> To be bedazzled. <laughs> Although that's what it kind of does look like. So if you want to add some more crystals to it, you can bedazzle it up a little bit, you know? You add your own little flair to it. <laughs> I might actually do that though. Don't judge me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so what is this exactly? It's a reflective reflective surface so that way um, whenever the sun's beating down on you, which it kind of doesn't exactly look like the sun's beating down right now. <laughs> Probably because I'm recording it. I need the sun. Kind of love Mother Nature. It works in your favor, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's supposed to be reflecting off the sun, so that's going to just going to keep you a little bit cooler. And let's see, what else do I need to do with it? It's going to keep me 20 degrees, uh, 20 degrees cooler um, by just adding water to it. So hopefully, I have enough water for this little bit that I have left. That I didn't drink while I was in the gym, although um, I'm tempted to drink it now. <laughs> um, let's see, what other facts about it? How does it work? Arctic hats evaporating cooling liner, which is this on the inside. As you can see. Uh, let's see. Arctic's evaporative cooling liner cools instantly when wet to keep your head 20 degrees cooler than the outside temperature. So I'm only going to be about 80 degrees. High. Still won't be comfortable, <laughs> but it'll be better. Um, it's advanced reflective UV barrier blocks 99% of the sun harmful rays, helping to keep you protected. Durable, lightweight, and breathable for enjoyable, lasting stay and lasting use. Stay cool, comfortable, and protected with Arctic Hat. So I'm gonna walk around here, and if I feel like I'm gonna be dying in about 10 minutes, uh, I'm gonna call it a day. If not, I'm gonna enjoy being out here and getting a little bit of extra cardio in um, as an added workout. So we're gonna see how this works. We're gonna see if we're gonna cut it short or get a nice good walk in. We're gonna see. Time to cool out. Make sure all this is nice and wet. All right. Which way does it go? This way. Alright, so initially, you can actually adjust it on the back right here. If you actually have a smaller head, unlike mine, you can adjust it a little bit to kind of get it a little bit more, I guess, coolness right here. Now my hair is going to be all wet, but oh well. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys. Alright, so yeah, it fits. It's not too bad, although downsides about the hat that I could think right off the bat is that for one, my hair is getting wet <laughs> if I didn't want it to get wet. But I mean, as long as it keeps me cool, it's not that big of a deal. Um, also, you know, it fits, it fits reasonably well. However, another downside for us ladies or, you know, for the man buns out there, you know, I can't wear my hair up in a ponytail because there's not exactly enough room. When I initially started the video, if you could tell, I had my hair up in a clip. I can't do it while I'm wearing this. What they probably could do, which would be a good suggestion, with another hat that I have is have a little ponytail holder which I mean it's same similar style the only difference is it has a nice little ponytail holder so just a suggestion maybe a short hair long hair version of it I would say male females but I know that you know there's the man buns out there so that's when I say long hair versus short hair <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and get a nice little walk in and see if I don't die out here all right, so as you can see, I had to clean up a little bit and kind of cool off after my nice little walk. Now, as far as my review for the hats. Overall, I'd probably give it two and a half, three out of five. Now, you're probably wanting to know, of course, why I would give that kind of rating. Well, for starters, 
Makes my head sweat. <laughs> um, the style, I, I don't think the reflectiveness really does much. Um, I do like the fact that it is breathable and it has some mesh to it. So that way, you know, kind of cools you off a little bit outside of the just getting it wet. And let me see, like, as I mentioned in the introduction of the video, I wish that it had a ponytail so that way I could put my ponytail out instead of having to wear my hair down because there's absolutely no room for me to have my hair up in any type of way, whether it's in a clip or in a ponytail or anything like that, um, because my head will not fit into it. Otherwise, otherwise it fits just fine, no problem. Um, and also, it does cool you off whenever you add some um, some water to it to kind of get that moisture. However, after being outside, you know, 10, 20 minutes or something like, or, you know, around that time, you know, just kind of giving it an estimated time, the coolness is going to wear off. And then you're going to get that humidity uh, that you get, you know, because the water is going to, or the moisture in the hat is going to, you know, take on both the sun and the warmth from your head. So therefore, you know, the coolness isn't going to be there the entire time. So, and then on top of that, you're, you're going to get your hair wet, which is going to make you even more uncomfortable. And if your hair is anywhere like mine, and you're going to get all frizzy. It's just, it's going to be a huge mess. <laughs> but um, as the statement has it on the packaging it does keep you cooler but unless there's a nice good breeze i don't think it's going to keep you that much cooler especially with the sun beaming down um, just with the water um, in the hat so i think for 20 bucks it's not a bad deal but i think you can probably get probably the same type of hat for probably about 10 bucks and then you can also get in different colors and things like that so that's part of the reason why I give the two and a half stars, three rating, just because for one, the style is, it's okay. It's not the worst, but you know, as far as it doing what it says it's going to do, it does it, but it's not going to last as long as you would like it to, especially if you're outside, you know, I think they used it for fishing as an example. I myself like to go fishing, but I don't think it's going to keep me cool the entire time that I'm fishing, especially if it was anything like I was last time I went fishing and I didn't catch anything. Yes, I'm still a little bit bitter about that, <laughs> uh, which means that I need to go again so I can catch me some dinner. But anyways, that's a whole other story. So that's my rating for the hat. Um, it does cool you off, but unless you got a nice good breeze going, which fortunately I did have yesterday, it's not going to keep you the coolest. The water's gonna end up getting warm in it or dry out. And then you're gonna have that humidity effect. And I mean, outside of blocking the sun, you may not be the most comfortable. So if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. Um, I say I was outside for maybe about 10, 20 minutes wearing this. Um, and it wasn't even the brightest sun out. So it was still kind of, not necessarily gloomy, but it was a nice, Nice, good cloudiness, so the sun wasn't directly beaming onto me, and I was still not 100% most comfortable without the breeze, because I did kind of walk whenever the breeze was, you know, stopped, and I, I wasn't the most comfortable. Then again, it was kind of humid outside too, so just kind of letting you know all the factors that played into my decision of when I was wearing it. So um, I know people are going to be like, "Well, this works," and blah blah blah. You can you have this type of effect? So I'm just kind of give you a summary of. The conditions that were outside you know you can kind of see that it wasn't the brightest of sun beaming down on me thank god um, but you know it was still a little bit humid it was about 95 degrees i think between 95 to 100 if you're in the shade versus not in the shade so um, again to kind of give you a little image of the temperature that was outside and how you know you know i was feeling with the hat versus without it because i didn't walk back to the car without the hat and I had wet hair and it was kind of humid, so it wasn't the most comfortable. So it did make a, a it did make a difference as far as me being comfortable with versus without the hat. But if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Make sure that you subscribe. In the meantime, stay tuned and stay jazzy. Thanks for watching, guys.